Today we're going to take a look at the Titan 400 portable solar generator. We're going to see what it comes in the box, my initial thoughts, and take an up close look at what you get for your investment. Okay, up top first, this section right here, this is the control center. It has your digital readout, shows you everything that you want, everything you could expect in a solar display. I've Okay, this entire section is portable. When I got it all in a couple of boxes and tried to pick everything up at once, I was questioning the description portable. <laughs> once I opened it up, got all the filler and all the packaging off, got each thing as a modular component, I realized, yeah, this thing absolutely is portable. Now, what's portable about it or what's the heaviest piece? This bottom piece right here is the LifePo 4 battery pack. It's got 2,500 watts of power in it. When I pick it up, I like it to carrying a briefcase Honda EU 2000 style generator. That's about how hefty it feels in the hand. The top part, the control center, this separates. I'll take it apart and show you in just a second. This, it has one, two, three, four, five, six AC ports on it. One, two, three, four DC ports. You get your on AC DC switch or your on DC switch right there. It's got a 30 amp plug right there so you could run your RV directly off it. I think that's a very smart feature because this is definitely catering to the mobile living RV community. It's got reset switches on the front and a fuse right there. Always love seeing a fuse. Make sure you keep a couple extra ones of those on hand. As soon as I started opening this beast up, my first impression was this was built well. It has an industrial feel to it. And to me, that's important. It reminds me of the old server racks that you used to see in the 90s. Let's take a look at the AC charger first. Here it is, 28 volts, heavy duty input right here. Heavy duty AC plug right there. This thing feels like a 1500 to 3000 watt inverter. It's that heavy. All metal construction, strain reliefs on the plugs. Depending on what kit you select, you're gonna get red and black solar cables. These are 25 foot each. You can get longer depending on what kit you order. This right here, 100, 200, 300, 400. 400 watts of solar it comes with. This one I got up here so you can see it folds in on itself so it's half the size. Then it folds out and it has kickstands on the back. Comes with two of these and they each come with a nice padded transportation case for the solar panel. Get a little bit of miscellaneous hardware. <laughs> Get some pigtails like that. One of these, it's like a quick release for a trickle charger. I haven't figured this guy out yet, but a little display screen. And I got three extra battery clamps with it as well. These things are all metal design. So this kit is the LifePo 4 battery. That's kind of the latest and greatest technology in the lithium rechargeable. It's got a 90 amp hour battery with 2,500 usable watt hours of power. So you're looking at about 19 by about 12 by about six high. This guy here is just under 50 pounds. This guy, the top piece is under 30. The power module has a two year warranty on it. The battery is a five year and the solar panel is an incredible 25 year. Also have a 30 day money back guarantee. If you're not happy, you pay a 5% restocking fee, ship it back to them and you'll get your money back. So I was pretty excited about getting an unboxing done. I wanted to get some content up there just so you guys could see what it looks like coming out of the box. That's the start. So what are my plans for this exactly? Well, short term, I'm gonna be taking this on a long road trip. I got a four week road trip that I'm taking down through the States. I've got speaking events in Tennessee, North Carolina, and Kansas. I'm gonna be going to all of those. Two of those three require outdoor camping. We're gonna be using this the entire time. I'm excited about putting this thing to its limits. I'm also gonna be going down to our land in Tennessee, and we're gonna start building at least an outhouse and maybe the frame of a cabin out there. This is gonna be our only power source. I'm not taking any gas generator with me. So we're gonna be running the solar panels. We're gonna be running, even when I get access to AC, you know, wall power, we're gonna plug it in and get it topped up as needed. The real challenge will be at prepper camp for, might as well say five days without any real plug in the wall power. So we're just gonna be relying on solar. Gonna be running the box fan kind of in my truck tent, maybe a few other items, charging some devices. We'll see how this thing holds up. Then going forward after that, for the rest of the winter, I'm gonna be running my entire office slash recording studio off of this setup. We're gonna see how well it works and where I live, in case you don't know, if you couldn't catch it in the accent, north of the border, way up where Santa Claus lives now, in Canada, Alberta, on the prairies, it gets down to minus 40. And if you're like, is that Celsius or Fahrenheit? It doesn't matter, it's just really cold. 
So we're gonna be running this. Of course, this will be indoors. Panels will be outdoors. We're gonna be running this. And uh, so we'll have a computer, three monitors, security system, some lights, printer, turntable, and a bunch of other things. It's gonna be powering the entire office and we're gonna run it all winter. We'll see what happens. I've got a smaller solar setup that's been running my garage, but this will be the absolute test of it. So you'll see a first review after I get a month of use on the road with it. And then you'll get an in-depth review after I've used it a bunch and a whole bunch of in-between videos as we go along. I don't think I've been as excited about a product in a long time. And what I like about them, if you know, there's almost zero solar manufactured products in the United States. So most companies just have everything built, sourced, assembled, tested, everything across the pond and then shipped back to us. Now, point zero, what I like about them, they're not 100% American made, not by any means, but they're an American company, they're American assembled, American engineered, American tested in Idaho. So not that far from where I live. So if I have any problems, I can drive down and see them. But I'm kind of excited. I can't wait to test this out further. You guys got questions, throw them at me because I want to make sure I make the content that you want to see regarding this beast. If you're still here, you know what that means? That means I made this video just for you. So if you want to see more stuff just like this, hit the subscribe button and stick around. And if you want to check out a video all about the solar system I built for my garage, what's involved in it, how I built it, the power it gives out, that sort of thing, check out this video right here. And as always, stay happy, stay healthy, and have a great week.